Sensor is now divided into what? General sensory, pain temperature, touch pressure, special sensation, which is what? Taste, which is involved with the gustatory pathway. Then we're going to get autonomic innovation, which is now bifurcated, divided into two types, parasympathetic and sympathetic. And then there is the motor innovation. So there are many different types of sensory supply, I mean, of, of, of nerve supply to jump. First of all, general sensation, one. Then we have special. Then we have an autonomic innovation, which is subdivided into sympathetic and parasympathetic, or what? Secretor motor. And then we have motor. For the anterior two thirds of the tongue, the general sensation is what? General sensation is what? The lingual nerve. Lingual nerve being a branch of what? The mandibular division of the trigeminal. Now that lingual nerve takes, hitchhikes on it is what? The corda tympani. Okay? That corda tympani nerve has two sets of fibers in it. Some afferent fibers, some efferent fibers. Fibers that are leaving, these are parasympathetic and some special sensory fibers coming up. So the anterior two thirds of the tongue, special sensation is what? Corda tympani via the lingual nerve. Corda tympani via the lingual nerve. However, we must remember that within the anterior two-thirds, there are what? The circumvallate papillae. And those circumvallate papillae have their own nerve supply. What are that? That's the glossopharyngeal. So general and special sensation for the circumvallate papilla will be by glossopharyngeal. Next thing, secretor motor innervation to the glands in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue for the tympani via the lingual nerve. Secret, and as Dr. Thomas was telling you, this is going to be traced right up to where? The superior salivatory nucleus. From the superior salivatory nucleus, the fibers now, preganglionic fibers will travel with the nervous intermediates, one, two, get into the facial nerve, two, three, leave by the corda tympani and corda tympani will join the lingual nerve and then now fibers will come off and synapse in the submandibular ganglion and then be distributed to the tongue through the lingual nerve. Okay, so you need that? Do you wish me to go over that? Yes. So secretor motor nerve supply, if you remember usual little autonomic part, we have the preganglionic cell bodies. Preganglionic cell bodies are lying in the superior salivatory nucleus. They leave with the nervous intermediates. Nervous intermediates is a, really a part of the facial nerve. Okay? They join in with the facial nerve, and then the facial nerve will give off a special nerve called the corda tympani. Still carrying all your preganglionic fibers. So the corda tympani will now join the lingual nerve. The lingual nerve will transmit those preganglionic fibers and it will come off and synapse in which ganglion? Submandibular Sub ganglion. Both ganglionic fibers now get back into the lingual nerve to supply the glands of the anterior two thirds of the tongue. Okay? So taste for anterior two thirds of the tongue, corda tympani via the lingual nerve. General sensation, lingual nerve. Posterior third of the tongue, general and special will be the glossopharyngeal. But because the the um, the circumvallate papillae have migrated forward, they carry with them what? Their all right, so one way probably an easy way that you could use to remember it is for the anterior two thirds, five and seven are involved. Five and seven, trigeminal and uh, nervous intermediates. And for the posterior two thirds, both general sensation and special sensation, 
uh, from nine. So nine has a double function on the posterior third, whereas for the anterior two thirds, they are five and seven. No, let us look now. This slide is about posterior third of the, the impulses are going to be traveling along the peripheral process. Cell bodies here in the tunicular ganglion are now having a central process. Central process by its very name is saying that it's going into the central nervous system. The cell body for the first order neuron is generally always in the peripheral nervous system. So this genicular ganglia means I'm residing on the facial nerve, at the bend of the facial nerve, at the genu, at the knee bend. So what's called the genicular ganglia, at the genu. Okay? So the impulses peripherally are coming along first, which nerve? The lingual. Isn't that so? Because we're dealing with it anterior two thirds of the top. So the impulse will first travel along the lingual nerve and then now leaves the lingual nerve by along the corda tympani. And that corda tympani will come up and join the facial nerve. We will be now in the geniculate ganglion. So lingual nerve, corda tympani, rejoining the facial nerve. The central process now, going into the brainstem, will be along first the facial nerve, and then at the internal acoustic meatus now, leaving with a special boy called the nervous intermediates. Okay? And that will now go and where the facial nerve actually emerges from the surface of the brain. Those fibers, those central fibers, will now end in the nucleus of the tractus solitarius. So the cell bodies for the second order neurons will be in the nucleus of the tractus solitarius. So to review, at least at this stage, you should know the cell body for the first order neuron and the second order neuron. The third order neuron is more in the realm of neuroanatomy. So lingual nerve, simple, corda tympani, facial cell body in the genicular ganglion, facial nerve, nervous intermediates, no ending in the inferior salivary nucleus.